an improbable fiction woven for your edification and please. Let's see, that would be Julius Caesar, as you liked it, Macbeth and Twelfth Night. <laughs> or to put it all in more common parlance, I suffered from my art and now it's your turn. <laughs> Just like the earth squeezes coal to make diamonds, this young lady does have the ability to squeeze dollar bills. She causes ink to reflow, it becomes bigger, more valuable. Much more like something that we would wrap in our pockets. Hey. That leaves us. One wand, two cups, no balls, no jokes from you. Leave it sticking out, the reason will soon become apparent. I, on the other hand, do not wish to soon become apparent. <laughs> I just don't breathe well in captivity. Change your mind? Was I even close? Nine? <laughs> Wanna see some little magic? You're holding it. <laughs> <laughs> You want a seven of clubs? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Want to see some real magic? Ten of diamonds. Yeah, there it is. Oh, oh. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! This one's so rousing. No Can you levitate? <laughs> Holy oh, oh, There you go. Shit. Wow! Thank you very much. I'd like Holy oh, shit! Wow! Okay. Oh, oh my god! god. hearing things. The frog knows. He hears voices. The voices say, kill Gumby. Kill Gumby. <laughs> it's not me, it's the frog. Knock, knock. Who's that? No, that's Shakespeare too. Knock, knock joke. Macbeth, act two, scene three. The man was a comic genius. <laughs> <laughs>